Yet another case of social media getting a student in trouble. This time a threat to attack Howell High School. This week sent the police looking for the author. Police say it was a teenage girl. She's now facing major felony charges. Local force Rod Maloney is live in Howell tonight with the very latest on this investigation. Rod. Yeah, Karen, you know, there's no doubt about it. There was some serious concern out here at Howell High School because this threat went up in the early morning hours. One of the other students saw it brought it to the principal and the principal immediately called police. They went to the girl's home after they discovered who they believe did it and they arrested her there. A very tearful and highly emotional 17 year old Sarah Marie Heiler of Howell at her arraignment this afternoon. Howell police saying in response to bullying in the early morning hours of March 1st, she sent two threatening tweets on the Howell class of 2018 Twitter feed. The first at 4.55 a.m., quote, bye-bye Howell schools, gone and forgotten, end quote. And then again, about a half hour later, quote, I'm tired of this BS. The school should have been shut up a long time ago. Since it wasn't, I'll have to do it my damn self, end quote. The magistrate entered a not guilty plea on three felony counts of false reporting or threatening terrorism using a computer in that crime. Three counts, each 20 year felonies. And yet as harsh as the charges were, the magistrate felt allowing her out of jail for house arrest was in order. Ms. Heiler, I'll have the bonding, bond sent over there shortly. You'll be released. I believe your parents are gonna pick you up and take you home, okay? okay. Please obey my bond, all right? If she doesn't, her family would have to pay $100,000. Afterward, her brother Matthew Heiler said that Sarah's endured many moves to new homes in recent years and social media taunting became unbearable. People created like Facebook, like with a picture of her, just took it off of her Facebook, put it up there, creating rumors. As for whether Sarah is a real danger. I know she wouldn't, I know she doesn't have the means to do so. Well, Sarah admitted to having a knife uh, in her arraignment and the judge ordered her to turn that over to police. The rumors apparently claimed that she was pregnant, among other things. The judge has ordered her to enter counseling as part of her bond. Back to you. So Rod, when will Sarah Miller be back in court again? Yeah, she's got a preliminary hearing on the 22nd of March where we're likely to hear more about how this investigation went.